Hey, 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 collective. Thank y'all so much for vibing with me, tapping in, tuning in. I am your girl, Bucky. And of course, this is Sip This Tea Tarot, where we tap in with spirit and get the tea on your situation or whatever it is spirit needs for you to know at this time. Y'all, excuse me. I'm trying to arrange my cards. <laughs> I can't stand it when they out of place. All right, y'all already know that all the messages here, they are general. They cannot and will not resonate with each and every one of you guys. So please only take what resonates with you, your story, and leave the rest collective. Anything you need to know about myself or my channel will be in the description box below. So please utilize it only if you see fit to, my loves. No pressure. Also, collective, any music that you might hear in the background, y'all already know. I don't own the rights to any of this music. It's simply playing for us to vibe out to. All right, y'all. So... We're going to see. Okay, look. I don't know what this is because I know I don't care. But maybe some of y'all do. Let's see what's going on in the relationship that your person left you for. So, let's say your person is in a relationship. Let's see what is going on within that relationship. Yeah, let's be nosy for a second. Let's be nosy. Let's be nosy. Anywho, thank y'all all for being here once again. Hope everyone is staying safe, happy, and healthy wherever you are in this crazy ass world, people. But we're gonna see, we're gonna be a little nursey. I know I don't know why, child. It's just something that popped into my head. Let's see what's going on in there <laughs> in that relationship. Y'all, if the video resonates, please like, comment as well as subscribe. I'm going to go get us a new deck of cards in a little bit, y'all. It's just been pulling. I said that earlier. Like, it's just been pulling at me. Girl, go get a new deck. Go get a new deck. It's like a new deck want to speak to somebody that watches my channel. And I'm not sure who you are. But I'm sure when I do get that deck, it's like I feel my decks out. I don't just buy them. I have to feel them. And when I feel that deck out, I will come and I will read for you, my love. And if it resonates, please leave me a comment. All right, y'all. Let's see what is going on with your person and this third party that they felt they just had to go see what was up with. Let's see. Let's see. Holy spirit. What is going on in this person's relationship? Now, y'all, I can't tell y'all that it's going to come in and say, oh, they're arguing all the time. Or it's a lot of fighting and fussing and domestic violence. No, that that doesn't have to happen in every relationship that someone leaves you to go be. <laughs> Somebody, it might come out that somebody is absolutely happy. They're smitten. They couldn't be better. So I'm just going to put it out here right now. This could be a trigger warning for someone. So watch at your own risk. Holy Spirit. <laughs> But I do see the towel at the bottom of the dick, y'all. <laughs> so I don't know if this is about to be a towel moment for them or a towel moment for you that's watching this video because you're about to get something about this video that you don't want to hear. Let's see, though. Holy Spirit, what is going on? What is going on in that relationship with the third party? What is going on in the relationship with the third party? Oh, let's see her. Uh -huh. Child, you ain't gonna believe this. Holy Spirit, you gotta give me one more before I open my mouth. Oh, Holy Spirit, y'all wanted to know, so here it come, Holy Spirit. Yes, Jesus. Okay, come through. Come on through here. Sit down, grab a seat, uh, blunt, coffee, wine, yak, whatever you gotta get. But come on, child, because you wanted to know, and the head go. Eight of cups. Five of swords. Six of cups. Ace of wands. So y'all want to know what's going on in their relationship? Not a damn thing because they on their way back to you. Buss it. Not a damn thing because they on their way <laughs> back to you. This Look, it just flew. Look, let me tell y'all something. It could be a Scorpio here. We're going to call the signs. Ace of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Six of cups. Eight of cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Five of us uh, swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We also have Scorpio popping out as well as Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay. So something about this person is transforming. And now they want to come back, spin the block, and come and message you or offer you something. Why? Because now this person see your worth. 
Now they see your worth. Yeah, this person completely focused on you. They consider the third party now as, as an option. You are the focus. You the focus collector. Lord have mercy, Jesus. See, a lot of y'all wanted this reading because y'all already know. Yeah, look. <laughs> Eight of Cups is in the... Nine of Cups. I don't know why I always want to call this Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups is in the reverse. So, yeah, we have a lot of water energy out here. So, a lot of y'all can be dealing with the water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But, yeah, this person right here is turning... Their, it's like they're turning their back and they're emptying those cups from their third party. <laughs> y'all wanted to know. Look, I'm telling you. They, if you got a family with this person, they own their way back. Even if you don't, you are a source of happiness for this person. And they are on their way back to you. Yeah, but see, it's like... In this relationship, whoever this third party is, they hold a lot of shit over your person's head. I don't know what this is. It could be that they have a baby together now. And they hold this over this person's head. It's like in the past, it probably worked. <laughs> it ain't working no more. Because <laughs> see, now this person want to come back to you. A lot of y'all ain't expecting this, though. I mean, a lot of y'all clicked on this video. It was like, oh, y'all not expecting to hear that this person want to come back to you. Yeah, because look, Tower popped out. Page of Swords. Somebody here is now defensive against the other person. This situation ain't working out. It's the it's a lot of fighting and arguing. I told y'all don't be expecting it, but look, it's tell moment after tell moment happening, but in this third party, somebody here also watches the other person like a motherfucking hawk. It's like something somebody got some. It's like the third party is kind of like blackmailing your person to stay with them. Six of Pentacles. It's like, I'm telling you, somebody here is your your person is being blackmailed to stay in this relationship with this third party. It worked in the past. It's not working anymore. They like do whatever you gonna do, say whatever you gonna say, tell whoever you gonna tell. But I'm leaving. Yeah, look, they thought this situation with this third party was gonna be a whole lot of fun. No, look who they ran into. Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. Yeah, you could be older or younger than this person. But it's like this person, it was it's kids being held over this person's head. Yeah, but I'm saying your person is like, just leave me alone. Just go. Yeah, this person, your person is like, if they have kids together, I'll take care of the kids. Just leave me alone with this uh this queen of Queen of Swords. Yeah, they thought they was going into something. It's not. It was. It's a lot of like immaturity in this third party situation. It's like they both act like kids, and your person is tired of that shit. Yeah, it's somebody's birthday. Happy birthday to whoever birthday it is. Going out there, twerk, 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 twerk that ass. That's what I'm saying on that, uh, on that song. And I'm telling you, this is crazy. Look, didn't I say it's a lot of conflict? Five of ones on the bottom of the deck. It's a lot of conflict in this third part, in this relationship with your person in this third party. Yeah, it's like, I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. It's like um once they got into this situation with this person, this person like completely changed up on them. They just wanted your person to like complete con con like give and give and give and give. And it's like they it's something that is being held over this person's head. It looks like a pregnancy. It really does. It looks like a pregnancy. Or someone is like they created like a business or something together. Somebody created like finances or something together. There's like there's shared finances or there's children involved. Somebody holds this over this person's head. They might be even saying like something about like child support and going to jail or something. Could be a cancer here. Yeah, but your person is like, fuck it. Call the police, file the child support, do whatever you got to do. But I'm out this bitch. Holy Spirit, one more card. Look, I, psh, Knight of Swords in reverse. 
There's no action being taken here. Your person is gone. It's the, I, nothing left to fight for in this situation. Yeah, they love you though. Water sign energy again. So we have Libra Taurus with the Empress, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, as well as Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I'm telling you, somebody here wants to, they've already left. It's not wants to leave. They, they're gone. Your person is gone for whatever this relationship is with this third party. And they're, they they want to come back to you. Like, no, all, all real shit. No mind games. Yeah, it's like this third party started playing. Like, once they got your person, they started playing mind games. It was, I'm even feeling like stepdaddy energy or stepmama energy. So, like, your person could be, like, really attached to this person's children or something like that. And it's like, if you leave, then you can't see the kid. Some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But your person there is like, do whatever the fuck it is you feel you got to do here. Yeah, look. They holding on to you. This person feel like you they soulmate. I just heard you complete me. So this, this person is no longer taking any type of action toward this third party because they can't let you go. Physically, mentally, or energetically. This person is holding on to you. Ace of Cups, they love you. Yeah, but shit, look. Shit right now is up in the air between y'all. It's a lot of emotional distance. Y'all could possibly not even be talking. But this person want to communicate with you. It's like something on this person's mind. You, you, the love that they have for you, it's like they can no longer contain it. They have to talk to you about it. Yeah, this person is tired of being apart from you. And they want to come back. But see, I'm telling y'all, whoever this third party is, she trying to keep your person stuck to... I don't know why I keep saying she, because we know gender has no tarot. But this third party is trying to keep your person bound to them. I don't know if it's like through sex, or if they have... Like, this person feeds your person addictions... Or something like that. But it's like this third party is really trying their damnedest. Blackmailing or something to keep your person from leaving. But, well, it ain't working. Because they, they they out of there. Yeah, this 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 third party is, is null and fucking void. Yeah, we got... Look, it just flew. I know y'all... Did y'all see that card pop up? Judgment. Judgment. This person want a second chance with you. Something like something in, in you woke this person up spiritually. And it's like this person is they can't let go of you. It's something about your energy. They cannot let go of you. They're like energetically holding on and they're connected to you. And they don't want to be disconnected. This person want another chance with you. Yeah, this got that 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 third party all in their head, can't sleep at night up. Nervous. All kind of shit. Somebody here is checking somebody's phone. It's like they're trying to check the phone to see if they're co uh, communicating with you, but they can't because they don't know the code. <laughs> it's like somebody here is waiting for somebody to go to sleep so they can go through their phone, but they can't get in it because it's like uh, they don't know the code. Yeah, but somebody here, they want to build with you. You could even be like the third party in this situation and you want to know what's going on in this person relationship. This is what's going on. Whether you're the third party or the person in the relationship. This person who's either with the third party. Well, you can consider this person a third party because look. This person want to build with you, whoever it is this is resonating with. They don't want to be with whoever it is they're with now. They, they're walking away. They're walking away. Whoever the person that they're with, they trying to check their phone to see if this person communicating with you. Look, this person back here watching. They trying to see if this person is giving anything to you. Time, energy, money, anything. But they can't get in their phone because they don't know the code. And that is the truth. They can't, they can't check. And this got them all in their feels. They up all night trying to figure some shit out. And they can't. 
this person feel like they can completely trust you is where they feel like the uh this third party now they feel like this third party will snake them out yeah look they know who you are see this sword is pointing right toward this high priestess this was a third party situation this person is choosing the high priestess here you collective but somebody here is trying to figure some shit out also through tarot this uh this third party or this person that your person is with they trying to figure out some shit through tarot as well but it's like somebody here is being their intuition is being blocked it's like they're being blocked from, I don't know, but somebody here intuition is being blocked. Like you, they can't figure it out by themselves. So they're trying to watch Tarot. Could be an Aries here. Somebody here, you got a message from a Tarot reader and you like, no, that can't be it. That can't be it. So you like blocking it out. Spirit is telling you to listen. Concentrate. Get out your head. But see, collective, I don't feel like this is for you. I feel like this is for whoever this um this third party person is that's in this relationship. Yeah. It's like Spirit was trying to get this person messages about this whole entire situation. Yeah, they was trying to tell them that this person is like a player. They was trying to tell them that this person wasn't like committed to only them. Like wasn't just about them. But somebody here didn't. Yeah, you could even. This could have been a marriage. But this is like a long term commitment. Hmm. So yeah, somebody here was like in a marriage, but they're leaving this marriage because they want to come towards you. Others of them, they just leaving this situation because they want to come back towards you and they feel like this other person they can't trust anymore. But see, Spirit tried to tell whoever this third party is about this person, period. It's like you already know who this person is and what they about. Yeah, now look, because this person didn't listen, they in a mental prison and they feeling left out. It's it's somebody just said, How how did I see that? How did I see that coming? Yeah, this person cheated. They lied. Some of these people told the, the their partner that they had nothing else to do with you. Like, no, I don't have anything to do with her. You know, that's in the past. She like that. But this person is energetically and mentally um stuck to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, it just oh that's spirit. Now you know that's too many. Okay, well whatever. Hmm. Side note, some of y'all <laughs> be expecting like a phone call from somebody that's like away in like prison or something. This person could need like, it's like this person just need like emotional support. They don't need any money from you. This person is just pretty much calling because they need emotional support. So y'all keep that in mind. This person just really, really want to talk. But back to the story. Yeah, whoever this, this person is, they no longer even want to give to this third party. This shit right here between them and this third party is completely unbalanced. Like, yeah, the, the love between them, it's, 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 it's no, there's no love here. And if there is some love, it's, it's not being shown. Everything between them right now is standstill. But this person here is waiting to hear from you, collective. They are waiting to hear from you. Everything between y'all is, it's not done. It's up in the air. 
They want to talk. Oh, this is supposed to be over here. But yeah, y'all love situation. It might be on pause right now. It's like this is between y'all, but somebody here want to talk. But y'all keep in mind what I said about that long distance call too. But I'm telling you, somebody here is checking somebody's phone and they can find out. Holy Spirit, are they going to find out? Are they going to check this person's phone and find anything? They trying. But what if they do, it's going to leave this motherfucker very unstable because look. Yeah, the queen's back. All right, you're back. This person wants to come back to you. I just heard reclaim, reclaim my throne. Hmm. Oh, who gonna reclaim my throne? Oh, who is this? Oh, this is yeah, look. Somebody willing to fight for it, baby. So this third party could be willing to fight you for this person. This is crazy. Yeah, but whatever they, they this person finds in this person's phone, if they can ever get in it, it's going to cause this person to be very, very unstable. And it's going to be like a lot of fighting. There's also a lot of fighting in this uh, situation, this third party situation, over money. There's like a lot of fighting about money here. Yeah, there's an Aries here. But somebody here now wants to come back towards you. Somebody want to, look, somebody want to leave. It's like they don't have much, but they don't give a fuck. They are leaving. Yeah, all them emotions and shit are on the ground now. It could be an Aries here dealing with a water sign or an earth sign or take the energy how it resonates. But this person is just like, I'm out. I'm tired of the fighting and everything. But some of, I'm telling y'all, if this person go through this person's phone and they find anything from you, this person gonna run head first to the fight. This person gonna act a goddamn fool. If they see anything in this person's phone from you, about you, to you, she is something similar that even look like your name, they gonna act a fool. Ooh, shit, these people crazy. Yeah, look, Ace of Pentacles. This person want to come through and they want to offer you something. Like, they want a new opportunity with you. It's like this person is leaving this other situation collective and coming straight to you. They ain't having no layovers, no stops, no nothing. Returning, four of wands. Strength is in the reverse. This person is having confidence issues. It's like they're not confident that you would, you would actually let them back in. Because they did leave you for someone else. Duh. Could be a Leo here. But this person, they're having major confidence issues. This is also causing confidence issues in the person that they're leaving. Yeah, this person, Cancer. So, Cancer, you could have like a Leo or something that's feeling like not so confident about coming back towards you because they left you for someone else. This person could even try to come in and like give you some money to get back on your good side. Shit, let me borrow $20. But yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you. But see, what I the, this uh third party, Gemini Libra Aquarius here. Somebody could get the police called on them. Like, I don't know what this is. Yeah, like this person go through this person's phone, they find a message from you, it's gonna be a whole fight. Somebody could call the police on them. Yeah, somebody here could leave like a lawyer. Possibly even a doctor. Shit, I don't know. Yeah. Psh, somebody gonna need a goddamn doctor. Oh, wait a minute, y'all. Cause hold up. Y'all be very careful. Cause some of them, some people got somebody coming back toward them. They got some kind of um health issue, be it like um, this is a physical health issue. This might okay, this is an STD. I'm just gonna say it. Some of y'all got somebody that's coming back towards y'all that got an STD. So y'all be very careful of that. So that could be what this person is holding over this person's head. They they know that this person has like some kind of STD or something. Shit, they could have even been the one that gave this person this STD. 24, 44, as I said that. But they're holding this over this person's head. Yeah, it could be a Leo here. But it's like now this person don't care. They leaving. Yeah, look, Emperor. Mm-mm. They don't want that spot no more. They don't want it. 
Yeah, Aquarius. Did I say Leo? I mean Aries. Emperor and Aquarius. They don't, somebody don't want this spot no more. Somebody's more interested in healing themselves. Like pouring into their own cup now. Yeah, this person is willing to do whatever they make that, that's going to make them happy. But see, this third party, look, it's not going to leave them alone. This third party going to keep offering and offering and offering and offering. The person that's coming towards you, yeah, they got love for this person, but they side on the fuck out of it. They don't trust it. Could be a Leo here. Sad as fuck. Sad as fuck. Regret it. They regret ever, ever, ever leaving you. They regret isolating themselves from you and leaving you and closing out this cycle. Yeah. They regret it. And now they want to come back. But like I said, somebody, y'all, look, use your discernment because somebody here, don't, look, I'm telling you, you can't make this shit up. Don't sleep with this person. Not right away. Do not sleep with this person. Don't sleep with them right away. Go get, make that motherfucker get tested. Because it's something that this person is not going to come out and tell you. So y'all just, I'm telling y'all, you don't do it. Anywho, y'all, that was the reading. If the video resonated, please like, comment, as well as subscribe, y'all. And y'all know we're going to get back up.